G'day guys, got the uh, the detector here, you know which detector it is, working on the bench at the moment, I've got it pretty dumbed down because it's in a uh, environment where you normally would not operate a metal detector. As in, there is a lot of uh, interference, you know, and lights and fluoros, and um, also using a 14 inch uh, coil on it, which is uh, way too big to use indoors. But anyway, we're making the most of it. And on the uh, scope there, you can see the transmitted waveform from this detector. It's very, very uh, different than what a normal detector would do. I'll get my pointy stick here and uh, give, an, give you an idea. This um, bit here, this line, that's the transmit pulse. It's actually meant to be down, but I've got the um, probe around the other way. No big deal. So you, you get the idea. Um, but where it's very interesting, normally where you'd have a pulse like this, these vertical lines, you only have one. And that's um, the back EMF off the coil. And this one's got it going in both directions, which uh, is rather unusual. Anyway, I've got a, a metal disc here. It's actually... Um, uh, for cleaning uh, soldering iron tips. I might as well use it for a target. Whoops, I think it's a hand over the lens. Okay. I've got it up. you got to remember, this is dumb right down. It would be a, probably about, uh, I don't know, 20 times better out in the field, but... I'm pretty high up. I'm <clears throat> about 450 or so. It's still getting it. <clears throat> the other thing I've got here is uh, these hot rocks. They're just about pure ironstone. Come from Kalgoorlie. Um, most detectors have a hard time um, removing these um, you know, from the signal when you're uh, going along the ground. But uh, this detector, um, you know, I just push the button to ground balance him. Mail should come back to zero, close to. It's a slow process because I'm doing it inside the house, it's pretty hard. But uh, it totally ignores like on a normal detector, it would scream on uh, this, and that's just a nuisance value. You don't want to pick these up, but uh, not a problem. And uh, back on the target, whoops. So on big gold, even though this is uh, turned right down, it's really impressive. And uh, you can make it uh, um, fairly quiet too. It's, I'm absolutely um, amazed it's working with that big coil. I could not do that on a mine lab detector, not in a million years. It would not work. Um, it would it'd be squawking like, you know, a cage full of chickens. <laughs> but uh, yeah, quite impressive. probably running about 10 degrees over ambient temperature while within uh, normal specification. It's just sitting there purring. Um, on the controls here, 
basically ground balance, but it's a multi-function. You can push this uh, joystick here in multiple directions and uh, use it for different functions, which is basically here. And here is the uh, explanation of the display. Ground balance channels, earth field reduction, Damping level, which is basically those spikes you see on the oscilloscope off the coil. Um, ground balance fine adjustment there, which is at 339. Channel 1, channel 2, analog digital converter values. They will just um, change and update. You can probably see in there, they'll probably move around a little bit. That's to do with interference. You can see the interference on those uh, scope lines there on the display. I've got it damped as well, it's got a damping function. The FT that you can see on 10, that's a uh, internal filter. And 10 is very high, it should be down probably, you know, maybe um, uh, two or three. But uh, I can't do that inside the workshop. It, uh, it'd just be um, too noisy. So, gives you an idea how it all works. Uh, there's a GP. GPS antenna sitting there on top basically just sits like so if you put it in a box um, power switches on the back like so I don't know if you noticed um, the screen is backlit so I'll turn it on again you can have a look at it start up and it'll settle down but uh, to cut some of this light out here, you can see the, uh, even the one above me, if I put my hand there, you can see the uh, screen's a nice um, blue colour. What else can we do? On big targets, say you had a, with a little tiny um, can of some sort of lubricant spray, if I put that near the coil, I mean, that's way up in the air there. I mean, it's up here somewhere. Yeah, it's really hard to do in here, but uh, it picks it up, not a problem. And if it was out in the field, it'd be uh, um, a lot better than what we're getting in here. So just proof of concept, uh, it's working really well, um, and uh, yeah, the new new version will probably be um, a lot better again. Oops, just telling me my battery in the phone's going flat. Okay, that should do you. Catch ya.